Hello everyone and welcome to the Canboat Show. I'm Gwen Dorning, Marketing Manager of Maltel's World. And we are today gonna take a little look at the Lagoon 43 behind me with the Product Manager, Quentin Béraud. Hello everyone, we are here in Cannes. I'm Quentin and I'm here to present you the brand new model in the range, the Lagoon 43. So come with me. So I would like to talk about the main key feature of this boat, uh, especially the access where we just arrived from. Uh, we worked all this boat to be connected to the ocean, but also we describe a nice access, a nice access to, the, to the dock, but also a nice access to the ocean. And right next to it, we get this also new feature, something we didn't work on our previous boat, is to open the aft transom, I mean to open the aft bench on the ocean. And so we did this kind of uh, flip-flop backrest, and we also add a specific net on the dinghy host to be able to have a, a, a nice area to, to relax. And it's also all the key feature uh, in the lagoon, how you go around the boat, is to movement and basically that's all this new feature meaning big door opening doing what we call an in and out solution and that's a big connectivity between inside and outside having two tables here in this location we can have big table big table inside we can connect them together to make one big table and we also get this small tables as, as an extension and this is really part of what we wanted to do, having more people in the boat, more people around. Because this boat is based on a new volume. We really work new setup in the halls. We will see that later. But the meaning of it, it's uh, how you distribute all the, the elements, all the environment areas. So here you have the gourlet, you can go easily inside. In the saloon here, we have all the equipment, connectivity with the gourlet, where you can get the big fridge, also one outside in the cockpit. Total is 350 liters of uh, fridge and freezer. Then we get storage all around the gourlet. Also uh, four burner, oven, sink, tap for seawater and then a TV option on the lift. Fully equipped with storage, all the electronics, plus the electrical panels. Here we are going downstairs to the owner cabin, which is a really new way of thinking in our uh, catamaran business. Usually, at the after of the boat, you would find the bed, but today we decided to move it forward. It was a really key feature we wanted to do just because um, we wanted to get away of the noise, get the way of the aft cockpit, which is usually no noisy, the dog, the engine, all those noise at the aft. And doing that, it was a kind of tr tricky stuff. We had to get wider in the hull. So we work with VPLP on this subject, uh, making a boat that was uh, possible to fit this bed in the forward part of the boat. And also on port side, we will see later, but that was the opportunity to make four times the, the same cabin in the four cabin version. We also work uh, because this is the request from the market, uh, wider all to fit more storages. So as you can see here, it's plenty. There are everywhere storages, uh, which is really important in a boat, especially in the owner when the people live on board. We pay attention uh, about the equipment, electricity, plumbing to avoid taking them all around. So we keep the storage and in this area, because we had the room to do it, we place a nice uh, shower area, really, really plenty of light. And then we get separated toilet. Also in this area, you could find the washer dryer that fit in three or four cabin version. Here we are in the aft port side of the boat. We are in the guest area. The aft port side of the boat is uh, also a new key feature on this boat. This is the Pullman bed. So we have the regular setup of our aft uh, port with a nice bright area. 
but we also had a third possibility of uh, sleeping. Nice area to have uh, kids or more people in the boat. And then the forward is symmetric to the owner cabin. So in those two cabins, we have identical uh, showerware area with a separated toilet and convertible uh, sink. So ease of movement is meaning that uh, connection to the inside, but also connecting all the areas in the boat. So pilot area, direct access from cockpit. And then we got all the maneuver. You can access all the winches with this platform. Good visibility forward, protected from the sun with the Bimini option. And then we get the nice access to our kind of equipped fly bridge with a kind of saloon. And then you get forward uh, lounge area. So here we work in Lagoon with Raymarine. We have all our uh, screen, 12 wind screen, the autopilot, all maneuver, all direct accessible, and then the winches from our can. So again, circulation around. We have wide path going forward and forward on the 43. Now we decided to do a better area, really close to what we do on the Lagoon 46 with a better sitting area, nice lounging also for a while, cup holders, everything. And this is also the access to forward peak, uh, which is uh, where you can convert everything in the bed uh, on port side and starboard. Here also you can see the mast. So the cell plan, what is particular, that's what we have started on the Lagoon 51. We have moved the mast forward, of course, to be able to have more volume inside, more volume outside. That was I was saying. You have a good lounging area, and the cell plan has been worked also with overlapping Genoa, uh, with the, um, the main cell. Basically, we worked that based on the Lagoon 42. The ratio between the weight of the boat and uh, the cell plan is the same. So performance-wise, is we are about in the Lagoon 42. Also in this area, we have good connectivity with this large opening window to the inside. So it's uh, double access, first ventilation, because it's good to have ventilation around, but it's also a good connectivity to the galley to be able to get uh, food or drinks when you are sitting in this area.